everyone, Annette here from Ask Me Decor. Welcome back, and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. So in today's video, we're gonna decorate the kitchen for winter. I don't know about you, but when I take the Christmas decorations down, the house looks pretty cold and barren. We're gonna fix that today. We are on a mission to make this kitchen look warm and cozy. Right now, I'm enjoying a cup of hot cocoa, and it's got a little kick in it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what the kick is, how to make it, and how to add it to your hot cocoa bar. That's all coming up in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So before we get started, of course we have to put all the Christmas decorations away. Now, anything that's fragile, like my gingerbread houses, will definitely get wrapped in bubble wrap. That way I can assure that they're safe and protected and I can use everything again next year. Now, whenever I decorate for a new season, I like to give the room a deep cleaning. So that's what I did here. And yes, you saw me, I'm in my pajamas, but I got the floor clean, I got the countertops clean. After I spread out the jute rugs, I spread out these woven gray and white wool rugs on top. It layers the look and keeps it cozy for winter. You've definitely seen me do this before. Blue and gray fabric for winter on the windows. Now we're gonna make the kitchen smell good while we decorate, and I'm gonna use my candle melter for that. My flower canister will sit on the counter with a porcelain white teacup in it. And then I'm gonna grab my little wax snowman. He got a new scarf this year and definitely some new arms. I'm also keeping this large canister out for winter. I left the snow in it, removed the gingerbread house, and put this sweet little bird in there with a lot of pine cones. Did this ever happen to you? I bought these twinkle lights thinking they were white. It did say cool white on the box and they end up looking very blue. So the only time I use them is in my winter decorations because I don't use blue for Christmas. And winter themed pie plates will add the blue color and some more of my winter theme to the kitchen. coffee and tea area is a very important part of my kitchen and I want to make that look a little wintry with this picture. It has all the right shades of blue in it and the title of the picture is a skating party. Some pine cones on the window help me repeat the items through the room to make it all coordinate and make sense. And then I steamed the curtains a little bit. They did need it and they look a lot better now that I steam them. And I really wanted to show you this. While I was working on some of the kitchen, this is what was happening outside. While I'm decorating for winter inside, Mother Nature was decorating for winter outside. Look at how pretty this looked. And these snowflakes are some of the biggest snowflakes I've ever seen. Sticking with the idea of making things warm and cozy inside, I decided to make some homemade Baileys for my hot cocoa bar. I need to leave it in the refrigerator most of the time, but if we're making hot cocoa, it will come out. Now, in my large pitcher, I've already put a can of condensed sweetened milk and some half and half and some Crown Royal whiskey. 
To that, I will add some dissolved instant coffee, chocolate syrup, and vanilla. I'm gonna stir this up really good, and then I am going to put it in one of my favorite containers. This little bear was found at an antique store a couple years ago. He has a stopper for a lid, so he's perfect for storing liquid. This Bailey's definitely has to be stored in the refrigerator, but if we're making hot cocoa, my Bailey's will be a great addition to the hot cocoa bar. I will include this recipe in the description below just in case you feel like your hot cocoa bar needs a little kick. We'll get that hot cocoa bar put together in a minute, but first I want to do the table. I will keep the centerpiece on the table simple so that we can remove it whenever we're putting food on the table. Just a couple candles, a little tree, and a little porcelain house are enough. Pillows and throws add texture and warmth to the room. And this little snowman will get a grapevine wreath around him. More of that brown color throughout the room to match the pine cones. I feel like the island is a great place to do something special. So I put a matching runner and this platter. On top of it, I'm gonna put a jar of ginger snap cookies and some chocolate covered pretzels. I love this little snowy house with the pine cone roof on it. And more pine cones will match that on the tray, along with a bell and a wooded beaded garland attached to it. And don't forget the pantry. That always needs a little bit of decor to pull the theme around the room. Just these little teacups with some green trees in are all it needed. Later on, I did add another bow that matches my little snowman scarf. Time to do my favorite part of my kitchen. This is the pass-through from the dining room, and it's a perfect spot to do some decorating in the theme you're going for. This is where I'm gonna put together the hot cocoa bar. And my idea for this is keep it simple. I only need to put the items here that I know we're gonna actually use when we make our hot cocoa. And I'm using two large mason jars. One has the hot cocoa mix, the other has the marshmallows. I glued wooden buttons to the front of them and I made a scarf for one and a hat for the other one. Some white and brown chocolate morsels and my Baileys are all we're really gonna need to make hot cocoa. I have two more jars and I wanted to put some more treats and snacks in these. So one will get these chocolate pieces and the other one will get some Oreo cookies. Then I'll cover those jars with some more sleeves from a cut up sweater. I love using the sweater implements to make everything look wintry and cozy, keeping with my theme.
These are the jars I used at Christmas time. I had the gingerbread houses in them. I'm gonna keep the snow in them and I'm gonna just add some pine cones for the winter look. And now you can see where I put the rest of my winter looking pie plates. There's four of them and I just tucked them in on the top of the cabinets. And the kitchen is done. It's warm and cozy. Color scheme is ice blue, gray, brown, and of course, white. So sit back and enjoy the finished look. I think it looks great. It definitely is warm and cozy, and the winter colors are just perfect for this time of year. So all through the video, I was mentioning the gingerbread houses and how I had the kitchen decorated for Christmas. If you would like to see that, click on this video in the screen and you'll see exactly how it looked at Christmas time. Thanks for watching everybody, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.